everyone, it's Erica from Kendi Pants Cloth Diapers. And I just wanted to quickly, um, well, probably not quickly, but show you a tutorial um, how to convert your hand snap table press to a foot press. And I was searching online and noticed that there really wasn't any video tutorials on how to do this, so I thought I would do that for you so you can do it yourself. Um, so my table here is, it's an old like cabinet that we actually just happen to have in our garage. Um, it has wheels. I do recommend you get a table or something with wheels because I'm sure you're going to want to move your snap press around if you rearrange or whatever. Uh, obviously my wheels do have locks, so definitely get wheels that you can lock. Um, and this um, table or cabinet is about 36 inches tall. Um, I, I wanted it, I wanted something a little taller just so I didn't have to obviously bend over while I'm snapping my diapers or whatever else I might be snapping. So definitely look for something that, um, this one goes up to about like probably past my hip. So, um, there is a table at Harbor Press Freight, Harbor Press, Harbor Freight Tools that you can use, but you do have to buy like a separate wooden tabletop for it. Um, but it, and it is only, I think, 32 inches tall. So obviously though, if you add wheels, it'll add some height to it. But, so that is an option as well. Um, but I already did this side um, and I actually used my shelves that came with this cabinet um, as my pedal. Um, and it works, see? So that was my kind of first attempt and trial and error. So now I'm gonna go through step-by-step step for you and teach you on the other side on my green one here and go ahead and attach this one as well. Um, so first step is you want to attach your press to your table. Um, I got these bolts at Lowe's. Mine are really long. I think they're like four or five inches or something because my cabinet has, has um, kind of like a double layer of wood. <laughs> So you obviously probably don't need them that long if you end up using a different table, which most of you probably will. <laughs> so um, definitely measure the, the thickness of your wood to find out if um, how thick of a, how long of a bolt you need. And I just, what I did was I took my drill and this little tool that I also got at Harbor Freight. Um, this one is a, five sixteenths and I just got this whole um, whole set of them and the five sixteenths is, is I think what I need for my bolts um, I did end up getting bolts that were too big at first and they had to go back and get skinnier ones so obviously you have to make sure that they fit in the holes so I am going to go ahead and attach my green press here really quick and then I will move on to the next step so I will be back Okay, so I have my holes drilled in my table and I have my bolts kind of just put in there. And here are the nuts that go with the bolts. I'm going to use two ratchets, to one to hold the top and one to secure the bottom nut. And uh, so this is a 7 16 that's what my bolts need um, for the size of them. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to hold this side and turn them and get it secured, and then I will be back. Okay, so I've got my snap press secured to my tabletop here. 
and it's in tight. Um, and the next step is now to drill our hole that our cable is gonna go through. So you can see it back here. Um, now for this first one, I think I did it a little bit too far away from the actual press itself. And so sometimes my um, cable wire kind of rubs against, I mean, it's probably not a big deal. And I did get coated cable. Um, I will show you that. So here's my coated cable. Um, and you can get this at Lowe's. It's like 32 cents a foot or something like that. So um, this is obviously going to help kind of uh, protect the table and the and the cable really if um, from all, since it's rubbing right here. Um, now for this one, I'm gonna try to make it a little bit closer to the back of the press so that it's more straight down instead of kind of um, pulled outward, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna drill the hole behind the snap press and I will be back. Okay, so my hole is done. Um, and for the for this hole, I used a bit of um, a little bit bigger of a bit for the cable to go through because I just thought, you know, probably need just a little more space, I guess, for it to move around. So I used a seven sixteenths, it looks like, to drill the hole for my cable. Um, so yeah, so that's done. Goes all the way through the table. And um, so the next step then is to go ahead and attach my cable to the handle, the hole through my handle of my snap press. And so what I used for that is these are um, cable clips and they're pretty easy to work with. And you, you just put them around, you know, make a loop and put them around, put it around the, the two pieces of cable that come together and then tighten these nuts in so that it's nice and tight. So I will um, go ahead and do that real quick and I'll be back. Okay, um, as you can see, this is nice and tight. I mean, you wanna get this as tight as you can just so it doesn't loosen up. And I will probably be momentarily, as I use this, tightening these um, throughout the time that I use it just to make sure that they're staying nice and tight. Also, I will probably add a second one to each of these just for, you know, to double secure it. Um, but right now I'm just gonna stick with one. <clears throat> Obviously then you just thread your wire through the hole. Um, and come on out down here. Okay, and the next step then, you can see my pedal here. Um, I am going to go ahead and add my hinge and these are actually the hinges that were on the door to this cabinet. <laughs> um, they seem kind of chintzy, so I may end up going and getting bigger hinges um, stronger hinges but for now these will work and so I'm gonna go ahead and screw that onto my my foot pedal first not the cabinet um, because that that is kind of the last step um, so I'm gonna do that first and then also I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole through it again with my drill um, so that this eye bolt will fit right through there and hold on to the bottom of the cable so I'm gonna do that and I'll be back
Okay, so I have my eye bolt attached. Um, and then again, I'm just going to take a ratchet and um, hold on to this side with some pliers and then tighten this side. Okay, so my eye bolt is attached to my pedal here. And again, um, my pedals I am using are the shelving from this cabinet. If you don't have a cabinet like this, which you probably don't, um, like if you're using the table from Harbor Freight or some other um, tabletop, you may, you will need to go and get your pedals. So just two pieces of solid wood of some sort, um, probably, probably a strong um, type of wood. Um, and obviously how long you want it cut is based on how, how big and how deep, I guess you, you would say your table is. So, you know, my, my pedal here, it's kind of big. You probably don't need pedals this big, but, um, you know, has, I made sure it was secured and, you know, short enough to not hit the back of my cabinet. Um, I could take the back panel of this off and your table might be open in the back anyway, so it might not matter as much. Um, but you could go even shorter than my pedals. But um, if you don't have a table, like a cabinet type thing to attach your the other end of your hinge to, you may have to um, put like a piece of wood across the legs if you just have, um, like the one from Harbor Freight just has legs. So you may have to uh, attach a piece of wood across so that you can attach your hinge to that piece of wood as your pedal. So, just a couple thoughts here. It's, you know, every situation might be a little bit different. Um, and feel free to ask questions in the comments if you, um, if you can't, if you need help with something and I will do my best to help. But I'm gonna go ahead and attach my um, hinge now to my pedal and we'll be back. Okay, so I have my pedal in here. It just fits since, since it was one of the shelves. And the next step here is to kind of reach under here and grab your cable and attach it to one of these guys. So this is really handy because if you need more um, tension, I guess you could say, on your snap press, if you feel like it's a little bit too, like your cable is too loose or it's not, um, pressing down hard enough, you can tighten this. So you can shorten it, you can lengthen it. So the, that's that's why one of these is really handy. Um, so over here you can see this one. If I felt like it wasn't quite pressing down hard enough, I could just turn this and tighten it to make it a little bit, um, I guess, more pressure. So, um, so that is the next step, is to go ahead and attach your cable to this. Same concept as what you did up here with the handle. Um, you just fold it over again and put your little clip on there and tighten it up. Okay, so I have my double-ended eye bolt thingy <laughs> um, attached now to my top cable here. Um, now, I wanted to point out my cable is three feet long, but I actually think that's a little bit too long for this, especially if you use this extender. We'll call it an eye bolt extender. <laughs> um, I think that you don't need three feet. That's why I cinched up so much of my, or clipped up so much of my cable here. Um, so, but again, that is, that really depends on what pedal you're using, how tall your table is and stuff like that. So, um, you know, if you want to get extra and then get some, um, cable wire clippers to cut it shorter, that would be, you know, a good idea as well. Just, just so that you have some, um, wiggle room there. So, all right. The next step is to now take my extender and attach it just like over here to 
my eye bolt that is attached to my pedal. And so same thing, I just took the, um, the cable wire and did the same thing and just clipped it um, around these two pieces. So that's the next step. Okay, so I've got my cable attached to my um, my eye bolt here on my pedal. And so kind of the second to last step, I guess you could say, is to go ahead and attach your hinge here to um, your base. So if you have a piece of wood across the legs of your base, um, or like mine, you have this cabinet, um, you just need to screw in that hinge. Okay, so that is screwed on. Now, as you can see, or maybe, I don't know if you can tell, but this pedal is a little bit lower um, than this one. Now, it may still work. As I push on up, up here, you can kind of see. But if there's too much slack, again, you can tighten these, but mine is all the way tightened. So what I may have to do is go ahead and unscrew this and then take this up just a little bit higher for it to have enough pressure to pull down all the way on my on my snap press up there. Um, so that's basically it. Um, it's basically finished. I am gonna go through and tighten all my bolts here, make sure everything is good to go. Um, if I need to shorten any of my cables, I'll do that too. There's also another option. If you feel like your pedals are a little bit too heavy and they are kind of weighing down your handle up here, you can, Depending on what base you're using, um, if you're able to attach a piece of wood, like mine already has this wood here. And so what I may end up doing if the, um, the weight on the pedal is a little bit too heavier than I would like so that it doesn't um, allow my snap press to go up all the way, I may end up attaching a spring to my pedal. So same kind of thing I think you would, um, you'd either do like an eye screw or you know another eye bolt like this and I'm just probably going if I do this I'll probably just put it kind of here in the corner I'll drill another hole and put it here in the corner and then attach the spring up here to this piece of wood so that then when you push it down that spring will kind of pull it back up again and then it should relieve any of the weight that may be on your handle um, up here so that is also another option so that's it
Um, it's basically all finished. If you need to adjust some things as you're working with it, you know, you can do that. It's pretty easy to do. Um, I actually ended up adjusting this pedal here by just um, bringing more of this wire down. So that's an option too. So feel free to comment below if you have any questions or just leave me a comment in general, that would be great. And if you could give my video a like, that would be great too. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go test this thing out and see how she works. Both of them seem to be um, in good working order. So we will see how it goes. Okay, moment of truth. I've got my socket up here attached to my uh, die and then I have my cap underneath my fabric there. So let's see if this works. Here we go. Perfect, love it. So there you go, good luck everyone. Um, again, leave a comment if you have any questions and like my video, thanks.